So it's really important to get creative with your editing. And one way you can find inspiration is using templates. They are a great way to add in a lot of creativity to your photos and it creates a really good starting point. So we're gonna head on over to templates. So the experimental templates are the ones that I'm leaning towards for this because as you'll see, going through these, they have cool lens flares, they have cool lighting. So it's a really good base. Or you can even, you know, use this template and just be done with it if you want. But I always like to kind of start out and add my own stuff to this. So you'll see here, we have the glow template, feather light, which is really cool. You want to add a little bit of lens flare. It creates a certain style to your photo. I'm going to select feather light. For any reason you find yourself thinking, hey, this is a little bit too much, there's a slider on the bottom here. If you bring this down, it's going to control the strength of the template. So maybe you just want it at 50%, you can do that. So after you've applied the templates, if you wanna make any adjustments, let's say you don't want any light hitting her face, you can always erase and add in whatever you need to. So what you wanna do is go to edit, and then on the bottom here, you'll see local masking. So you wanna select that. And you'll see something called texture. Now this is where that template is gonna live. So you want to select that, and it's gonna pull up this little masking window here. And you wanna make sure the eraser is selected because we wanna erase so that it's not covering her face. So you can adjust the opacity. Maybe you don't want it to be, you know, a hard line across her face. So we're gonna adjust that first. So I'm adjusting the opacity to about 39 and I'm increasing my brush size by using the right and left brackets on my keyboard or you can just use the radius slider here. So we're just gonna go over this soft. I'm gonna make like a streak of light so that we can just mix it up a little bit. And this is a good way to adjust any of the templates that you use. Maybe you want only a little bit of it showing through in your photos. This is the way to do it. And then let's say you change your mind and you wanna add some more of that light on her face. Just select the paintbrush tool and go over any places you want it to show through. Lastly, I'm gonna increase the strength of the overall template using the blue slider at the bottom, just so it shows up a little bit more. Overall templates are a great way to start experimenting, being super creative with your photo edits.